I share real and fresh information about Japan from a Japanese girl's perspective with my buddy bud and my colleague Danko Chanis. If you want to know about Japan, please subscribe this channel. I often get some questions about the language from the viewer of this channel, so today I'm going to make the video about the language. Yes, and now from now on, I'm gonna take the English language lesson for the first time in my life. I feel a little nervous because I'm shy. Demo, uh, I'll do my best. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how to learn English online with the English teacher. It's gonna be all my first experience. <laughs> so, if you have a plan to come to Japan and if you want to know about the Japanese people's English level, or if you want to learn Japanese language, or Please watch this video until the end. I'll, I'm going to share the uh, best information to you. So, let's get it started. It's 6 42 p.m. So, I'm going to take a lesson from the 7. So, and as you can see, I'm preparing moving. So empty. Three bridges. Oh, three bridges. Empty. 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 A little still messy, many doubles. So, Mosoko Hikoshi Surunda. I caught my banks in this morning. I caught too much. Uh, Yabonai. Tika Yabonai. First, let's talk about the English level of Japanese people. As I introduced in my previous video, many Japanese people cannot speak English. Japan's English level is 80th out of 111 countries' regions. Especially Japanese girls who look like me don't speak English at all. So if you meet a Japanese people who can communicate in English, you are lucky. This is the Japanese English level. The next is about my English. I'm often asked how I learned English. Actually, I don't do anything in particular to study English, but just I want to communicate with viewers of the smiley time. That's why, yeah, I speak English. In my daily life, I haven't had opportunity to speak English in Japan because Japan, they there are a few foreign people, but I started working in Asakusa. Asakusa has many tourists, and yeah, I got many opportunity to speak English in Asakusa. That's why you know, that makes me speak English a lot. So just originally I took no 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 no. So just I took school English classes for six years. English classes in Japan mainly focus on the grammar. So, although I knew grammar, I couldn't talk and listen. And after that, I had no chance to speak English, so I forgot English almost all. But a few years later, I became an idol and I had to speak English on the stage, on an overseas live. Thank you for coming our stage. At first, we are 
going to introduce course manners by Malay. So I started to practice English because I don't want to speak broken English on the stages. I made English sentences and I went to the bar and look for the foreign people and I made them correct my English sentences. <laughs> Yeah, that, this is my history. After my idol activities ended, I went to Malta to study English. It was seven years ago. Oh, for a month. Man. Actually, I wanted to study abroad one year and more, but I live alone in Tokyo, so there was no system to keep my luggages for a year. So I couldn't stay overseas one year or something like that for a long time so I decided to go to Malta just for a month I just had a short time so before I go to Malta I prepared the, my introduction in English my introduction to Japan I practiced to explain about my country in English that it helped me a lot and I made one rule when I go to Malta, I that I do not speak Japanese at all for a month. The study abroad fee was sanju ma yen, three, three thousand, three hundred thousand yen. Yeah. All I, all I learned in one month was that the rule of the English language, and also I was no longer nervous when I speak English because I'm not native speaker and I realized that it's natural to make mistakes. But after returning to Japan, I stopped speaking English and I forgot again. <laughs> after that, I started this YouTube channel one and a half years ago and my opportunities to speak English has increased dramatically. Furthermore, since I started tour guide jobs, so I can no longer keep speaking broken English. I need to improve my English to become a professional guide. And one day, I met what I was looking for. Italki, the sponsor of today's video. At Italki, you can have one-to-one -one customized language lessons with high-quality native speaking teachers. You can discuss any topics you need with your Italki teacher at any time, anywhere. It's very efficient because you can save time and transportation costs to go to lessons. And you can learn exactly what you want to know. I don't know the difference between can and be able to. So I've been using with hua hua mind. Which is correct, I don't know, but I just used. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I want to clarify the difference today. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. The teacher will clearly solve your doubts, so after that I became... Oh, I understood. Okay, I got it. Thank you very much. As you know, I'm a ninja. Even with my irregular work schedule, it makes it possible for me to learn English. You can easily find a lesson at your free time with the smartphone app. And you can learn Japanese, English, and more than 150 languages at Italki. If you want to study Japanese, let's start at Italki now. I also want to be a Japanese teacher at Italki in the future. You will pay per lesson, no subscription, so you can feel free to start now. Your lessons are only paid from $5. It's cheaper than a round trip from my castle to a bar in Shinjuku. Wow! So this time, I tried to take an English lesson at Aitoki. I searched a teacher who can speak both English and Japanese because I want to definitely solve questions what I've been wondering about for a long time. I chose Kiki Sensei among many English teachers because she can speak Japanese too she doesn't look like a teacher, and I don't get nervous. And I like her name, Kiki, so cute. 
After taking Kiki Sensei's lesson, I was able to solve all questions that I wanted to ask her this time and I felt super refreshed! If you want to experience this too, click through the link below in the description to start your learning language journey! Yay! Buy $10, get $5 for free for your first journey using my exclusive promo code SMILEY. The discount's only available for the first 50 users. 50 users. So don't miss it. And I will present the people, those, those who wants to start the language journey. In a pair. So let's take a look a little of my first online lesson with Kiki Sensei. Dozo. Um Yeah, like I said, I'm Kristen, or you can call me Kiki. If you don't mind, tell me a little bit about yourself to start. Okay. My name is Miley. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> I cut my bangs too much in this morning. Oh, so okay. <laughs> I don't like my <laughs> visual today. It looks okay. I I don't think okay. it's too short. Yeah. Fine. You have two days two ago. Months. I oh. cut my two days ago. Two days ago. <laughs> yeah. It was still kind of short. Yeah. But the bang is cute. Thank you. My, this is too. My, my one is a little messy, but yeah, I will like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get a job working at Asakusa? I knew the situation. The number of tour guide is decreasing. Yeah. Yeah, especially yeah, there is no young tour guide. Uh. So I need to uh protect <laughs> i need to i want to tell the beautiful culture and history in the future so yeah. i decided to be a guide okay. in Asakusa. Yeah. yeah and i studied guide job since march okay cool so mm -hmm. just a couple months right yeah yes just yeah. a couple months <laughs> when you say protect that's a good word and thinking maybe another word you might hear um preserve preserve so preserve so that it's same idea of protect mm -hmm. but you know yeah. keep the keep. japanese old culture you want to preserve and share mm -hmm. the oh. japanese culture yeah definitely That's i want to preserve japanese culture really cool okay <laughs> oh i see i have to say i did cheat and I, I looked at your YouTube a little bit. Um, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you mentioned, you, I think I saw, it said former idol. Uh -huh. So what idol work did you do? Oh, <laughs> what idol work? Yeah, did you, I... were you in a big group, kind of a smaller group? Or uh -huh. what kind of group were you in? Yeah, I was in a normal standard group. Okay. The size is 80 people okay. in the group. And the grade was uh, under the major group. No, <laughs> Category. Yeah. I was in the middle part of the uh, idol industry. So oh. I... Nanda. <laughs> our group made our original costumes. Yeah. CDs and music videos. Okay, cool. Yeah, so... Totemo, how can I say? Totemo chantosteta. Properly group. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to say, give it a try. So, properly, I might also say something like put together group. Put together? Put together, maybe like, I know in katakana we say smart though. I got smart. Mm -hmm. smart. That kind of idea. So, mm -hmm. You know, not here, there, little different pieces. Mm -hmm. Everything is tanto <laughs> matometer. It's but, all uh, together. together. So all... We, we weren't part-time group. We weren't just 
doing for a hobby. We were yeah. a real put together. Uh-huh. Oh, you could even say like a serious group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not just not just for fun, fun. or something. Yeah, not oh. just a hobby. It was a real. It was your real mm-hmm. work. You were earning money from just mm-hmm. the group. That was your main work. Yeah. Oh, so good. I see. We were put together. <laughs> I don't know if it's okay to ask, but yeah. why did you quit? Yeah. Because I, I felt satisfied okay. to do the idol work. And also, the group system wasn't mm-hmm. enough. Oh, what do you mean? And、uh, he was not good at controlling the members.、Okay. So, always he. Made a trouble、okay. about the members, and I felt I was tired to、mm. treat members because I was the oldest member of the group.、Okay. So all the time something trouble happened,、mm. I have to treat members. Okay, and so we decided to dismiss. Gonna. Yeah, you can use dismiss. Um, I might use disband. Disband. So dismiss, kaisang a meeting or meeting. a class.、Uh, yeah. Uh huh. We say dismiss. So、mm-hmm. we dismiss the class or dismiss、mm-hmm. the meeting for a group. Yeah.、Uh, disband. So we were grouped together doing、mm-hmm. something. Yeah. We go different ways. We would say we disband. You first said, I think. We decided to dismiss. Yeah. Uh huh.、So, yeah. To switch there, so we decided to disband. Completely, I learned now. <laughs> After this, she politely answered all my questions. Kiki Sensei's lesson was very easy to understand. Kiki Sensei はちゃんと理解できるように大事なところをゆっくり話してくれるので、学びたいところをしっかりとインプット、アウトプットすることができました。ピンポイントで学べるところもアイトーキーのおすすめポイントです。キキ先生は英語を勉強している皆さんにぜひおすすめしたい先生です。Thank you very much for teaching me, キキ先生。Thank you. <laughs> We use maritime a real food together. Did you enjoy this video? If you like this video, please give us、yeah. like and subscribe. And which language have you learned? Please let me know in the comment. Okay, see you next Saturday night. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye. Hikoshi ga mori mas.